Assalamu alaikum. It's your boy Logan and Yeroon. And we out here in Saudi Arabia. If there is a final frontier of tourism left, it's in Saudi Arabia, where we are right now. It's, it's This country is the birthplace and spiritual home of Islam. And Saudi Arabia is rich in history and grand in symbolism. <laughs> Just everything is falling apart. Mud houses, wooden doors. Wow. Yeah. And that's what I call floor to ceiling. The country just recently opened its doors to tourism and my boyfriend Jeroen and I are one of the first people from Canada and the Netherlands respectively to see and experience this land through their newly issued tourist visa and that's part of the thrill that we live for. Before. The only way to get into Saudi Arabia is if you're a Muslim making the pilgrimage to Mecca and now it is accessible. Yurun and I are now embarking on a road trip throughout the country because it is open now. So we want to see as much as we can and soak it all up in this land that has been untouchable for so long. So as we were driving down the highway in this incredible landscape of rocky edge cliffs just out of Riyadh, we then stumble upon Qasar al Mukbil, which is the name that we found out about this village right here. It's an abandoned old city village. As you can see, everything is made out of mud. There's some hay I'm stepping on that came from the roof, or what used to be a roof, and the other material seems to be wood, and that's it. That's all the materials that is built. And this whole town has been left abandoned, and we are the only ones here kind of checking it out because we didn't really expect this. We were just uh, leaving Riyadh because we were driving down to ex start our Saudi trip. Maybe not the best thing to do, going up crumbling stairs of a half-shattered house, but oh, I made it! <laughs> up top! Oh wow! Okay, you can see a mosque that has been newly built out there, outside of the old city walls. This is from the top. I think this is my favorite part of these ruins. These arches that are left behind. Then in the distance, the views of the mountains. Right on, so I think that was an epic way to start our Saudi Arabia road trip. <laughs> to get Prince of Persia. Prince Ali! Da, da, da. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's a, no. Nobody's here. Yeah, so we found this patch of red sand dunes and 
we're like going on some our car let's go on a little trek and check it out but literally it's a vast amount of what it looks like a desert in fact there's a place in Saudi Arabia called the Antique Quarters that's further south of Korea and the Antique Quarters is literally the name of just how vast and empty it is because it's just all desert and the size of it is the size of France just that quarter so that kind of gives you an idea of how big this country is and we're only in a little slice of it you see that oasis there that like looking rock thingy Oh, it's good that you still see it as a rock, otherwise you would be having a Fata Morgana. It's a Fata Morgana. When you are in the desert walking for days. Yeah, it feels water. like days already. Yeah. And you see something that's not really there. And then you think, it's like what they do in the book. Never seen a desert at all. But I definitely never seen a desert with those mountains on it. It's really special, huh? Yeah. Have you ever seen it? Not like this, where there's a desert and surrounded by mountains. Now, what does all this traveling in Saudi Arabia mean for me as a Canadian and as an openly gay man? So far, when people see me and my boyfriend traveling together, the first thing they would think about is our sexuality or sexuality at all. Generally, people in Saudi Arabia have been just curious what we think of their country since most people here have never seen a foreigner in their life. And with the places we're exploring today, well, as you can see, there's hardly any people to judge us or even think about our sexuality to even begin with unless you're these little camels here. <laughs> yes, it is a farming hat. <laughs> They're all coming. <laughs> oh, I think it's a boss. Oh, really? Oh, it's a good holiday. Well, it really is chasing that one. Hey! <laughs> oh, oh, no, it's coming. It's coming. rich in heritage. Now we have Chakra, which is another stop that we found on our way throughout Saudi Arabia in the Naj region. And as usual, we're the only tourists here.
What do you see? Uh, a hole. It's no water. Oh, it's a well. Just walking around exploring these empty ruins, walking through these labyrinths, but there's some really beautiful doors. I think how they built it, they mix a little bit of hay with the mud to get this texture. Okay, so there is this big room with these columns and also very cool details along the walls but oh this, there's two floors to this there's one floor up there too now the thing about being one of the first new tourists in a country that has been locked away for so long is that there's not much research or information out there on where to go, what to do, where to eat like other countries or other places when you're traveling. So a lot of these places we just kind of have to figure it out on our own for the very first time. There's no Lonely Planet book on Saudi Arabia. There's no, there's hardly any blogs or information out there. But when we do discover and find places like this where there's an accident some of the places today are just just out of like different guides advice well look at this spectacular somehow we are now on top of the rooftop of this building that we were exploring and we can see all the ruins below and far out into the distance and all the different minarets of the mosque the white tips kind of remind me of like uh, gingerbread houses <laughs> like icing and these are like gingerbread houses I hope you're learning a new side of Saudi Arabia as much as we are while we are taking you on this journey through a once forbidden country. Hit subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a like and leave a comment below because more shocking truths about Saudi Arabia will be unveiled in the next upcoming vlogs.